Yes. Yep. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ascension Elder League Week 5. I'm here with Foxy. How's it Hello. going, Foxy? It's going well. Excited for this. Week 4 of Elder League. No, it's yep. week 5. Week 5, my bad. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's week 5. It's week 5. Week 4 is last week. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's mm -hmm. how weeks work. Right? right yeah. They go one, <laughs> two, uh, three. <laughs> So what do you what do you think is going on in this draft phase here? Well, yeah, we got uh, Sophie Fan Club versus Dirty Diapers, right? Um, Sophie Fan Club actually uh, on par and um, for first place right now. Um, so they definitely would like this win here against the Dirty Diapers. Yeah, and we're going through a fan phase. Yep, jumping right in. <laughs> um, Sophie's well, Fan it's... Club, they're they're pretty close to being. They're t tied for first, right? Yeah, they're yeah. tied for first with RAR XD. So wins here mean they get to keep that first place spot. Exactly. Oh. And uh, yeah, and this patch is new patch is rolling in. Akali's now going to be allowed in the tournament, so you can play Akali. And uh, there's a lot of changes to runes. Uh, the especially the, the domination and the sorcery trees have been nerfed. Uh, and some of the cooldowns have been changed. One of the biggest ones is the Electrocute has been nerfed by a lot. 20 damage at level 1 and 40 damage at level 18, going to 180 uh, adaptive. So that'll be interesting, but the cooldown will be reduced by half at level 1. So more proccing, but less... Less, less burst, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll have to see what... Uh... What, do you think... what do you think of this Draven ban? Do you think that's a pocket pick? From Jackaloco? Jackaloco, I'm not so sure, but maybe it probably is a target pick. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, ADCs are popular in the bot lane uh, still. Uh, I think these changes uh, have nerfed. Nerfing sorcery and nerfing domination, I think, affects bot lane in an indirect way because it affects mages being a little bit maybe less oppressive with their poke. Um, Correct. Yeah. The bot lane, giving a little bit more breather to the ADCs and survivability, not getting shoved out of lane in the laning phase and just not having any play. So it looks like we got mm -hmm. the bot lane actually locked in for Derpy Diapers here. No, Sophie's fan club. <laughs> Sophie's fan club. My bad. On the right. Yes. <laughs> I got to put that in my head. <laughs> it's all right, man. So th this swing could, though, it could be a flex to mid or top, though. It's Look right there. It's definitely not going bot lane. Mm -hmm. No way Caitlyn's going good. anywhere else. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, and Pike. Oh, man, I'm excited for this. This is my oh, first yeah. ca casting a Pike game. It is. Yeah, Pike is always a very really exciting playmaking champion. Uh, new addition to the bot lane. Yeah. Well, we, I mean, the Pike into the Morgana uh, Black Shield is really strong to deal with Pike and definitely uh, is able to, is not going to, Pike won't be able to really. Um, do too much, I don't think, in the laning phase. And with the Caitlyn, is very long ranged, so um, yeah, not uh, gonna be as oppressive as it usually is. Yeah, know, what's so. interesting too is they pick Caitlyn into Morgana, so the Morgana can just black shield, walk over traps, get rid of all of them at once. She exactly. still gets the headshots off, and they can still do really good damage. Pike, Caitlyn, I'm pretty sure is no slouch in the damage department in bot lane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. And we have the Nocturne here picked up. I think that's a uh, novelty uh, that's going to be for Zalion playing the Nocturne. All still a very strong pick. Has been for the fa past few patches. Uh, very strong. Uh, the ganks at level six. Um, yeah, and really great team fighting, especially with the Jin. The current call will also be uh, really interesting in the mid late game as well. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see what kind of maybe tanks in front line they'll be picking. So the second ban phase here. Yeah. So we've got some champions being banned away. I don't know if I think I would ban Nami whenever yeah, they've already no. picked the Pike. That's a bit weird ban right there. I don't see Pike being flexed really to like jungle or anything. I mean, people have tried him jungle, but it's just not as effective as support, honestly. Yeah, definitely but not. Maybe maybe that's their plan though. It's all a clever ruse, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oriana oh, Vlad oh, banned sure. by. Uh, Dirty diapers. I think that's honestly good choices. Get rid of those control mages that can kind of take over a team fight. Mm-hmm. And the center here, uh, 
really good control of Mage. Uh, was buffed, I think, two, two patches ago. Uh, the Q damage in the early game, definitely can't deny, can't uh, ignore that as a really strong pick in the mid. Yeah. And Sophie's Fan Club, they have so much burst now. They have a Nocturne ult to come in. They have the Morgana Q if he gets enough AP. They have Jinx, which does, or Jin, sorry, not Jinx, Jin, who does a lot of damage with each of his shots. This team has so much burst. Yeah, and no, no front line just yet. I mean, all of that is just puck, but here's the Mumu being locked in. Uh, actually, the Mumu was buffed, and uh, they derived talks about in the patch that they're trying to push uh, the tank meta a little bit back into uh, the rift. Uh, we'll yeah, have to see how buffed. Gippy does with it. Oh, so that's Pike top? Lulu mid? Yeah. Swain top? Wow. I don't know. There's many different combinations <laughs> that could be there. You yeah, have Swain, Swain top. Can be flexed to top mid or bot lane. Uh, Amumu will definitely be going into the jungle here. Caitlyn. No, no way he goes anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Lulu will likely be a support. I mean, Lulu can flex to the mid lane. I, with the airy buffs, uh, Lulu can be really strong in the 2v2 scenarios with the jungle. Early Especially with Caitlyn. Ganks. Especially with Caitlyn. That is That's so much, true. so oppressive. Even with the Morgana Black Shield, it's not going to protect you from that. Looks like it is going to be a pike top lane. Actually, I can speak from big experience. I do. I did start and try to push playing pike top a lot when he came out. Mm -hmm. Even made a mobile fire guide for that. Go and grasp on him is actually with overgrowth. We'll see what runes he goes. But uh, the way that works is uh, the overgrowth does actually give you maximum health, uh, ah. even though his passive gives him AD from the health. So the overgrowth increases his health, uh, max health, but the grasp gives him AD. So uh -huh. if you get like two, every two and a half procs of grasp of the Andani, it'll give him one permanent AD. Wow. So that's how that's, that works. We'll that is pretty nuts. That. And the Gragas in the top lane is the matchup for him. Uh, actually, mm, uh, Miji here, yeah, he actually plays the Gragas lately, a lot of Gragas in his solo queue. Gains 73% win rate in solo queue. Going Gragas top exclusively with grasp of the Andani. So that's going to be interesting. That's, that's going to be... Hopefully we're gonna see some really good plays. I mean, he's been <laughs> he's been a long time member of Ascension, and you know, whenever something clutch comes up, sometimes Miji comes up. So, mm -hmm. looking forward to seeing him pilot that Gragas. Maybe get some really good ults, single out some targets for all the poke or burst that they can lay down with the Syndra Nocturne and Jin. Yeah. So and definitely, I uh, Miji usually builds the tank, so I will likely see the tank Gragas in the top lane. So that is gonna be the front line. For, for team sure, yeah. Sophie fan club, uh, which is really important because uh, the Morgana, the Jin, the Syndra, they, they, they you know, if anything uh, interrupts and gets too close in range, like that can just ruin a team fight, just like that. So many of these members can get caught out as well. So I think the, uh, <clears throat> I would like to see a lot of, we'll, we'll need to look for a lot of aggressive plays in the early mm -hmm. game from Sophie fan club in order to. Uh, cover that weakness because in the late game, Amumu is just going to be so oppressive with the Swain, with the Caitlyn traps. Just long team fights are just not what uh, Sophie Fan Club is going to be liking. Yeah. And they should, honestly, they, the longer this game goes, the more picks it should be going off. What do you think these junglers should be doing in the beginning of the game? You got a Nocturne on one side and a Mumu on the other side, right? Yeah. Mumu is not known I mean for the early game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, actually, with the buffs, Mumumu will be a little bit tankier. The uh, I believe the E or the W is what reduces the... Now it actually scales e. with AD yeah. and MR. Yeah, now he's going to take a little less damage. Uh, it won't be too relevant early, uh, but still... Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, Nocturne can't really gank that easily. I think any mm -hmm. of these members may... The Pike has, um, you know, uh, terrain scaling... Uh, maybe, and the Lulu is just such a protective and such so much utility in the bot lane with the Caitlyn traps. Yeah, honestly, if, if I was Zy Leon, I would just go invade this in Mumu jungle. Mumu get this first clear is just horrendous, mm -hmm. right? No, even if he doesn't take, if even if he takes less damage in the jungle, he's still going to be low. He's still going to be at least half health or, or lower, no mm -hmm. matter what camp he does. It's like, and all these lanes in theory should be able to hold their own. Like, exactly. like Jin, Jin Morgana should be able to get out of any situation. Syndra should probably be beating Swain in the early game, as long as he stays out of range. And then the Gra Miji on Gragas, he's probably already given up the lane the minute he picked Gragas <laughs> anyway. So if he can get some lane pri lane priority in mid and bot and then invade the red side jungle, he can get some solid uh, 
put some solid pressure down on this Amumu, try and prevent him from getting level 6, and, and in a sense, you know, boost himself higher than the other enemy jungler there. Yeah, uh, I don't know that early matchup, but, but yeah. Early control of the map, and then making sure that Amumu doesn't get any sneaky ganks uh, to play. a really strong laning phase i think for both bot laners but the gin going now we can see the runes here hail of blades uh is definitely an aggressive uh that's they're gonna be going for that kill <laughs> lane with the ignite on the morgana yeah <laughs> no electric it i mean with the airy so not fully committing to kill pressure but definitely very threatening <laughs> i will say this if if you are on dirty diapers and you're the Mumu player. He's like, go kill the Gragas. If you go kill the Gragas a bunch of times, you get extra gold because it's Pike. Plus, you kill the only tank. If you keep the only tank down, the whole team's squishy. Right? Mm -hmm. That's yep. how that works. <laughs> yep, Gragas is their only hope against all sorts of engage. So <laughs> the Swain, I mean, as soon as as soon as Gragas is gone, this, there's just the Swain you know, just flashes in the back the line. Nowhere, there is nowhere around. It's over. Swain is flashing him with his ulti, trying to ace the team. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and actually, Greg is here opting for not nothing on the resolve tree, going for uh, Comet and uh, Inspiration. So yeah, it almost makes you think he's going tanky. AP. Yeah. Maybe he is. Maybe he's not. He thinks this spike is just a joke, and, uh... and he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll over <laughs> this spike. I'm gonna body slam him out of this uh, league." Is this just another minion, but worth 300 gold? <laughs> just has this weird gray bar. Yeah. Goes invisible every once in a while. Yeah. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay, looks like we're in game here. And this is honestly a fight for Sophie's fan club to stay in first place. And Dirty Diapers, they're trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. They're They're in fifth place right now. They're tied with, I think, one other team. Yep. So this this is a pretty important match between two teams that could potentially see each other in the playoffs. You know, assuming it all goes well for the rest. Yep. And Red still needs to fix their client. Gonna have to reload back in. All right, I'm in still, so you can definitely spectate off me. Worst right. case scenario. We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you see on uh, Sophie's fan club on red side, they're doing five point defense, being exactly mirrored by Dirty Diapers. Nothing crazy going on. They're just. None of. All of them are actually standing in bushes and not even attempting to go to even get vision on the other side. <laughs> no one's gone past the river. <laughs> it's like the lines are drawn. Don't cross the lines. So yeah, the, it's like the think DMZ. Of that, uh, trailer. <laughs> that trailer for the new skins for the Lucian, the High Noon. It's like uh, <laughs> got the standoff. Yeah, exactly. And uh, a lot Jin of things going off. Tilt over wars. <laughs> <laughs> got a little theme going there. Yeah. And it looks like uh, Xyleon's starting on the top side. He's getting a leash from Miji. We'll have to see. And their bot lane, I think, Sophie's fan club bot lane is faking a, a leash. A very short leash. It's actually not a very good pick <laughs> this far. Mm -hmm. But we'll have to see how that pans out. Oh, so now they're sitting in that tri brush uh, behind yeah. the tower. So they're def they're yeah. definitely doing a good fake. They're probably going to get around the same time. Uh, both of the junglers, they're about half health. Miji's finally now getting a top lane. Mm -hmm. Swain uh, got a nice river ward to make sure he doesn't get ganked. Oh, and he already landed one of his Qs. Yeah, so uh, the thing about also Pike top lane, because we don't see that very often, the gray bar is a very powerful advantage. As we watch, oh, actually, Nocturne sitting in a bush for top lane looking Oh, he's going in! Level two. <laughs> oh, there's a flash. Very respectful. Mm -hmm. I, I don't it's think he can do anything. Away. Very respectful flash. I think it's a very solid yeah. flash. Ooh, Rook going down on Lulu in bot lane, though. Oh. That's that level up definitely saving up. Oh, it's definitely. One, though. <laughs> Dude, that that Jin crit probably would have killed him, honestly. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Mimu is finally getting his blue buff. 
Yeah, so oh, Zylion's over there, there. Taking control of the river instantly, going for those uh, scuttle crabs. Um, yeah, so I was talking about the Pike matchup. He actually opted for Q, so wasn't able to escape. Uh, mm -hmm. That's, you know, if he had the level up, he would probably go for an E. Oh, Zylion's over by Wolves. He's behind the Moomoo right now. Wow. Are they going to see each other? See him yet. They, oh, my God. They're just now missing each other. This is insane. Oh, he's gonna go steal the grop. He's gonna notice the grass being done. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. right in front of his face. Oh, there we go. There we go. Pike, Pike has priority here. I, I don't. I think Zaylion should be getting out. This. He's about to get collapsed yeah, on by Swain as well. Okay. Very good flash by Zaylion. Probably didn't need to be in that situation though. Oh, there's a pause. Oh, what a pause. Phoenix is about to get stunned. I'm pretty sure. You can see the Q uh, scatter of the week about to go on right now. Scatter the week is in session and about to be released <laughs> into the summer. If that's room. not an instant flash the minute the unpause happens, I don't know what is, right? Yeah, but looks, it looks like Echo has decided to take over the game and rewind the clocks. <laughs> He's going to be holding us hostage here for a little while. Let's see, we'll see. What, what is going on here. Uh, Swain is having 400, 400 ping. ping. Oh, good um, grief. That is never good. That might be why he's still kept walking. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, well, finally, the game allows me a little time to talk about my favorite pike top. I did <laughs> one trick this for a little while. The great bar. But let's, let, you guys want to, yeah. Uh, so the great bar is really powerful in the top lane because uh, you gain, it's just like Tom Kench where it converts some of the health into a great bar. And then you refill that gray bar when you're out of sight, which there mm -hmm. are bushes in the top lane that you can use, you can just go into that bush quickly, re refill your health, you know, some of it percentage, and that scales with level, and then just so much trading. sustain, so exactly. much sustain. So you have that sustain through just having that refillable health over having those tanky stats, which makes him a very powerful pick. Right. On top of that, he also got opted for the corrupting potion. So like. Oh, yeah. If you thought he had a lot of stain, he has so mm -hmm. much. All right, game's being on pause. Oh. Whoa, where's the red ER, man? Oh, in the first blood going straight over. Yep. Oh, man, that was red ER. I guess he decided not to do the flash and they accept his fate. Yeah. Tragic. And the action's well, that was over. That the turnaround. TP coming in. So that will be both. Did he flash? He didn't flash. So he didn't flash. Just, yeah. Yeah, so he'll still have the flash in the mid lane. Yeah, you know, Zylon again Ooh. going for that second scuttle, so he will be controlling this jungle really well. Uh, he didn't have the double buffs in that engage in the top yeah. lane, but... But ironically, still... Zylon's behind in gold, actually, even though he took down both two scuttle grabs. <laughs> yeah, well, he didn't opt to get that second buff. Oh, Mumu's top right now, though. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Miji does have flash. Oh. Let's see if he can get out of it. I don't think he's Director going to. <laughs> Director camera's failing me, never moving yeah. me to the action. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you just gotta, you know, just press the keys. Uh, yeah, well, um, fun fact, Zylion like is taking uh, Krugs right now. <laughs> yeah, and Davey, like you said, taking advantage of that weak among the early clears. Yep. And we'll be roaming here, looking at mid. possibly looking for that gank. Uh, oh, will connect? Oh, they land, they land, they land the snare. He's definitely showing. Okay. And uh, hopefully Mumu recognizes dominance. that that's... His his Krugs are probably gone. <laughs> yeah, it's a sad day. You know, he's not gonna be able to visit his Krug friends. Yeah, but well, honestly, the Moomoo just needs to survive this early game. He'll be fine uh, no matter what happens. Like as long as he doesn't feed, you know, novelty or something like that, they should be fine. Dirty Diapers should just look look to go late, mm -hmm. or a little later, I guess. Yeah, and, just and also the corrupting potion uh, on the Syndra. And the Dark Seal. Almost 10 farm lead in the mid lane. That's true. Showing that powerful early game, having a little bit of that range advantage in that laning phase definitely helps out the Syndra. Um, so, this is going to be a Cloud Drake, definitely not an objective that uh, it will help Nocturne and the Jin. Uh, during trades and will likely help the Morgana be able to roam more if they do go for this cloud drake, but um, not definitely definitely not the biggest priority. Uh, we'll, we'll be looking out for those skirmishes in the jungle oh. and the river. That is a lot of damage on Blue Caboose. Honestly, this this bot is just kind of uncoordinated to in some extent. Like Blue Caboose is sitting there zoning them and Samana is just sitting back going, Yeah, I'm taking the minions. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get free trades with you. Cause Let's start Doran's shield. Uh yeah, it's like he wants to play really passive uh, in this lane, but Blue Caboose is like nah. Spells of blades, it's like their split personality <laughs> <laughs> going there. Who knows? Who knows? It's just elderly, you know. <laughs> yeah, and that time at rush uh, is very good for Pike. Uh, Pike is very reliant on mana, uh, and not having that buff or not going support and needing that sustain, uh, the time at is really important. Uh, it gives him a lot of weight. That's clear. a very typical rush. Yeah. And Mumu and Nocturne are probably about to fight each other. Here. Oh, Ooh, they're fighting over it. Here we go. Swain's almost in range for his W right now. Oh, he Gipping won it. Pike's here. Gragas is here as well, though. Fight Ooh. going on. Rutledge is getting out. Oh, that's a really good Swain snare. And Rutledge gets the kill. <laughs> uh, that combo between uh, the Phoenix, Phoenix and... Uh, Beast is really, really powerful. Oh yeah, you can CC lock someone for days. <laughs> and, and he got a blue buff out of that, actually, Rutledge, for the Pike Tile. It's like, you're talking about the mana issues? It's like, nah, mm -hmm. nah, just get blue buff, kill the jungler. <laughs> Easy. Kills. That's going to be huge uh, for that top lane. You'll be able to roam really easily, too. Pike is really strong at uh, roaming. And we'll be able to help the Sumumu transition to the mid game. Uh, hopefully get to that level six <clears throat> yeah. power spike for the ganks get to that bot lane and even with morgana black shield uh it's not going to be enough to deal with the cc that the bot lane provides with the momu as well while being there yeah getting some deep forward vision uh is good against the momu but we'll have to yeah, see. And, and cinder's doing that on the strong side which should be their strong side right mm -hmm. so He's trying to trying to plan ahead and uh, get an advantage where they can, and he took all the the raptors too <laughs> while he was at it. <laughs> yeah. Gank going on in top lane right now. Rutledge gonna get away. Good double stun right there. Very yeah, important for right. him escaping that gank. Yeah, not quite working out. Was spotted just earlier, clearing the ward um, and putting that, having that control ward there, but yeah, that re gank wasn't wasn't good didn't really work out there's so many pings on this blue side it's like they communicate by pings you know <laughs> yeah so both back both bot liners backed for a bf sword with the boots um so pretty even matchup still a cs lead for the gen but look uh, look at that mid lane are, cs lead though yeah 24 25 already a kill oh relish is flash right now up top he thinks he can kill miji Oh, the move was here as well. Oh my gosh. And that is a Good double play. kill, actually. For the gold. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a kill for Amumu and the kill of gold split up for Pike. That's also his. Uh, yeah, Amumu's love that. You get items quicker. Yeah. Oh my goodness. They're executing More this armor. strategy exactly like I've, I said they would. <laughs> it's like take down the Gragas, <laughs> keep him down. Don't let somebody to get tanky on their team. Essentially, make it you're playing against five squishy people, full solo queue. <laughs> and as uh, as long as Phoenix can, you know, keep this gold difference where it's at, I think Dirty Divers is looking good right now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And so far, the map vision looks pretty even. Uh, Fairly split, honestly. Yeah. Zylion Z had a lead early on, uh, but oh, Phoenix is gonna get caught out here. Out. Oh, but he popped the ult. And a move with flash. Oh, and he misses the Q. Oh my gosh, the bandage toss missed. And I think Phoenix and Gimpy are just trying to get some extra Zylon. damage. The yeah. ult won't fight any of the targets. And they both got stunned. That. Yeah. that is a cleanse out of the Syndra in the mid lane as well. We'll be looking for that regank uh, from Gimpy. Uh, he's looking here now for the bot lane here for a gank. Honestly, that's what we were talking about with that level <laughs> six spike. Really powerful. Uh, what's funny is Xyleon had to use his flash in exchange for the Mumu's flash there. So hopefully a Mumu will come back and, you know, capitalize on that missing summoner spell there. He doesn't have cleanse, doesn't have flash. There's a control word on that side. Yeah, see right there. Never move finds his place. Does a lot of damage right here. Oh, he's here right now. Oh, but the Nocturne's here. Oh, is this a one for one trade? It's the real question. Ooh. Oh, Gimpy just walks it out. Oh, Lulu's here as well. Oh my god, what a great roam. 
by Jester of Time. A really great uh, foresight from Jester of Time to, but they really didn't even need to be there. Uh, the moment was enough to uh, take care of that. Uh, so they'll definitely go straight for the dragon because the Nocturne was taken out. The uh, the paranoia wasn't able to do anything to the Swain. Uh, he has the uh, catalyst, so he Ooh. was a little bit more healthy than probably Nocturne expected. Yeah. Flourish doesn't find the steel. Yeah, Miji trying to engage on a Rutledge, but he doesn't realize Morgan is here. Well, now he does. <laughs> Trying to be sneaky about it. But that means Jin is alone in the bot lane, 1v2. That is, uh... Well, 1v1 right now, because Lulu's recalling from base. But potentially Ooh, 1v2... Lulu's actually roamed all the way to top lane. Yeah, so I was saying, yeah. The Vergana's yeah. in top lane for... I don't know what reason, really. <laughs> Maybe they're hoping to secure a Rift Herald, or... Down. Probably trying to find a pick. Uh, the Dark Binding is really strong. Uh, Pike is very weak if he stays in vision too long in a trade. Uh, his strength is in poking and then finding that uh, uh, getting back to great health, yeah. lethal HP, and then just going for uh, for the uh, death from below, and then just taking everyone out. This is looking very, very grim. Uh, for Sophie's fan club, yeah. yeah for Sophie's fan club. Just looking at the gold difference now. Uh, there's a 400 gold difference. Not really significant between the two teams, but yeah, but it's very a... significant on a macro base for the mid game because the Mumu with such so much gold will be able to be so tanky, very oppressive. Jin won't be able to do much in team fights to uh, get through by the going on between back. Rutledge and Silion right now, and Swain's here too. Phoenix, oh Rutledge secures it with the execute. Oh, that's so much gold. This team is just cashing in the money with this pike. <laughs> Actually, Relish. also get forward J just to keep fighting him. Oh, but Swain's still here. Phoenix, Not Phoenix is up. committed to this. Yeah, and this is probably another kill. Ooh, very oh, very good explosive cash, but is it gonna save him? Oh my gosh, Miji barely got out of that. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a good explosive cast by him. Yeah, Miji opting for the Merc Treads probably helped him out a little bit there. Uh, but probably he why he escaped split between the armor and the Merc. <laughs> Magic resist. He is going for that tank build, but he doesn't have a resolve tree to help him out. Uh, that's really unfortunate. Um, it's really good to build towards your runes, and the way the game is moving, looks like he's not going to be able to go for that burst, Gragas, yeah. to, to get to that. Uh, to be kind of a front line for this team, but to also take out the squishy members, but with the Amumu, it's going to be very oppressive. Yeah. Uh, so and actually, with those kills they just got, now they have a 1k gold lead. 1k, or like 900 gold uh, from Pike and <laughs> over Gragas right now. 1.1k uh, gold. Amumu, <laughs> oh, 1.1k gold lead of Amumu against... Flash! <laughs> oh, here's it. Paranoia. He's coming out of the Morgana. Oh, ooh, he still got the snipe. Paranoia. <laughs> nah. Jackalook was fine. Out, That's a one for one trade. Season. Honestly, yeah. if I was Caitlyn, I wouldn't be too upset if I was Dirty. Oh, but Swain's down here. Phoenix trying to make something happen right here. He's just draining him. <laughs> oh, the Moomoo got there as well. Oh my gosh, Gimpy. Yeah, <laughs> perfect timing. Absolutely well, perfect timing. Oh, but yeah, he's trying to kill Phoenix. He's so tanky, oh. but he's taken down. Not sure what Gimpy is doing. Uh, he just, he just, he's just, he's just, he's just jungling, you know. He's helping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is exactly like this is exactly what I was talking about. Uh, with the Swain, he's gonna be able to get to these squishy targets and just literally run it down with the ult. He doesn't have to stop moving to drain the health to deal the damage over time and just uh, be like a second tank for the team. Ooh, explosive or cash being used. Be. Oh, Morgana's here again. Ah, predicted. There's the binding. Attack binding. <laughs> and shut that's going to help Miji a lot, right? That shut down assist gold. For sure, for sure. He definitely needs uh, a, a reprieve in that lane, for sure. Yeah, they need to come back into this game. Look for these picks. The, the team comp that they've structured is all about picks. It's all about 
and then after the picks, they should be using that gold lead that they should be looking for. Oh, I'm surprised that back in the bandage toss actually landed on Meiji. He's gonna go down. No, no way he survives that. Oh. That was crazy. Oh, Phoenix rooted, about to be stunned. Yeah, free kill right there. Another pick off right there, and just like that, Sophie's fan club. They're looking like they're back in the game. Yep, those picks, exactly what I was just talking about, uh, is the way that they're going to be able to come back, and then they have such a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pike, run! Paranoia, fear, stuns, oh my gosh. And then they're going to keep pushing. No one's here to defend now, because they killed everybody. Because <laughs> everyone keeps walking in one by one, and that's two turrets. This is such a good power play by Sophie's fan club. Jockaloco and Jester trying to match that. Foxy, I don't think I hear you anymore. I see you're, that you're talking. Hold on. Let me restart my Discord. Hello? Foxy? Oh no, I can't hear you anymore. This is tragic. I'm all alone now. I lost my foxy. Wait, I hear you typing right now. <laughs> oh, you can hear me? Okay. <laughs> now I can oh. hear you. Oh, fantastic. Awesome. Okay. Ocean Drake! Go Ocean over. Drake! <laughs> Good job! Good job, Dirty Diapers! Excellent yeah, job! This whole time. Ex got excellent it. macro play! <laughs> Yeah. That Ocean Drake will also be really good um, for sustain for all these members uh, to deal with the harass that uh, that the Sophie fan club will be able to do. More more like all of the sieging that they're going to do with this Caitlyn exactly. and the Swain. Maybe some turret dives in there. Who knows? Mumu can get pretty darn tanky. Uh, and it looks like they're Sophie's fan club is traditioning all their yeah they're traditioning all their people top here they look how much deep vision they have in the jungles <laughs> as well <laughs> jumps in place <laughs> oh Gippy's starting a fight right here he's about to use a bandage toss Ooh, taking oh, down the, the bike the bike that's the low going for the gym yeah. here but novelty's here he could definitely do a lot of damage oh Relish does so much him. damage Oh, oh the gin curtain call being curtain done. Call. Paranoia being used. This could be really deadly for somebody. Oh, they're going after Gimpy. Gimpy's being focused down. Really low. But Swain here, he's just in the middle of it. He's just ignoring everybody. Oh my gosh. And he's going to get him. Miji, you're next, man. Run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh Miji with the dancing it's shoes. A baker. <laughs> the third Caitlyn at attempt <laughs> to kill somebody with the headshot. Oh. Finally went, went lands his mark. She never misses. Ace in the hole. <laughs> oh, is this the Blitzcrank and Blitzcrank mode that uh, just was real Nexus Blitz game mode that we were just spectating? What is this? Who knows? <laughs> it could... So much was going on. The Rift Herald going over right after. And they get the uh, top lane turret. Yes. yes. I'm going to reset right after that. That is huge. That now, is a huge team fight. Balls back in Dirty Diapers team. court. Honestly. <clears throat> I mean, you could see during the team fight just how effective Phoenix was. He's just sitting there, draining. It doesn't matter that he's, you know... Uh, yeah, as soon uh, as Gimpy went in, for the initiation was Gimpy going in with the ultimate. Uh, the Momo ult just snaring everyone in place. And then Beast just goes ham with this, using all his abilities. And then he now has a Trinity Force, which is a great first item for Pike, especially when you're doing the head or... Uh, just it's a great item. Looks like a pause. Yeah. Oh man. Two out of Connection three. His ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's talk about that team fight. Yeah. Uh, like like I was saying, the Mumu was able to get that um, get that engage, giving Pike tons of time to do the damage, and then use his execute uh, death from below. Uh, taking down. I don't remember who the first member was. Was it novelty? I believe it was Morgana. 
Blue from Caboose. Ghana. Yeah. Yeah, and hey, then... Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, oh, okay, Sam and O then running for his life, ignited, and last thing, last thing he does is open a uh, uh, final current call and dies. It's like, <laughs> so tragic. It's like Romeo Feels bad, man. It's like, left, uh, left burning, alive on stage. Yeah, you know, what's crazy, amongst all of that chaos, right, you see the Pike and the Swain just going ham along with the Mimit, it's like, Jock Loco? He's untouched. He has, he's like the easiest Caitlyn game ever. No one will ever bother me. Lulu can go yeah. shield my front line and just make them even tankier if you thought they were annoying before. And it's like, Xyleon, yeah. he can ult in, but he immediately gets uh, polymorphed each and time. It's like, if, it's just Xyleon was just, just wasn't sucks. able to press that early game um, to create that um, team fight scenario where... Uh, you know where you, you know you need that kill pressure on the back on the back line. Otherwise, you're dealing with this Amumu. You're dealing with this tanky now, very quite tanky Swain with the Rod of Ages now going into the Leandris Torment. Oh, <laughs> opting for that damage actually now. He probably will be building. You know, I can see items like Rallus Crystal Scepter as well, uh, just to keep kiting, just to use that ultimate to just CC, giving so much time for Caitlyn. Uh, if he can't get back to the Caitlyn, if he can't take out the Lulu before the team fight starts, uh, and before uh, uh, Dirty Diapers, uh, they're just gonna run away. Team, how the team fight goes, <laughs> then it's over. Yeah, exactly. You got nothing. You got dragons. Honestly, whenever the whenever Sophie's fan club commits to fight, they just need to go all in with a Cinder ult, Nocturne ult, uh, GW, exactly. uh, and. Just go all in on one person, kill a high value target, like maybe the Swain before you can ult, maybe the Kaylin if they can ever catch him. And it's. Otherwise, it's well, just going to be really so hard. really bad. Pike on a Trinity Force is scary. It is so strong. It is a power spike for Pike top lane. I know that from my games. <laughs> yeah, how, how low I'll... cooldown? 6.4 second cooldown on his Q? Uh, uh oh. We lost our Pike. He disconnected. <laughs> The most oh, bodied no. player lost to the deep waters. <laughs> <laughs> Good Going grief. back swimming with the fishes. I can do these all day. <laughs> yeah, apparently the pause caused a weird client bug. We'll have to see. What do you think of this Morgana first item, Sonya's Hourglass? Are you a fan of that? Uh, I don't usually take, I don't usually play or take really uh, perfect timing, because um, on champions when I play, oh, looks like Pike is coming back. Zanya's Hourglass is really important in this matter. Um, even though the perfect timing comes up only at 10 minutes, and it's been moved to earlier times, like six minutes at first when it first was released, which was <laughs> the perfect timing meta. <laughs> but uh, 10 minutes is fair. Um, it's quite a while, so champions who might... Well, he's already bought the Hourglass. Like, he owns it. Well, after, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we see the stop. Oh, Blue Kaboos just got his snare off. Uh, he's he's going for Jester. Mm -hmm. Lulu had to hold himself. Swain, Samana took so much damage from Swain there, though. Jackal Echo, free kill. They're going after him. Oh, the Pike! Oh, my God, Rutledge! That damage from the Pike. That was so much first. Force. I didn't realize it's Pike insane. could do this much damage. I need to start playing yeah. some top lane Pike. Right? Oh, you gotta get like that. You gotta I feel play like, like a pro. <laughs> Zyleon's right now coming over to the mid lane. I feel like he should have just stayed top there. Try and trade at least one turret for the two they're probably going to lose. I'm pretty there sure Miji... There's no way he'll be able to paranoia into this team. Yeah. It's like, there's nothing he can do in this situation either. It's like, you might as well split push, try and pull somebody off. Ooh. And uh, they fight the Jin as oh well. Oh my gosh. And just hope that, you know, maybe, maybe Rutledge would have gone and matched him, right? But it's a what if. <laughs> oh! <laughs> just like a new Oh, man, what a boosted play right there. <laughs> Here he's, uh, this guy's gonna make him watch the bot review. Like, why'd you do this? <laughs> you gotta fix this, man. Clean it but, up. No but that's okay. Honestly, that's okay. Clean. It's for a good cause, right? But luckily, before Zyleon backed, he did get a lot of Baron Vision. He got the Scuttle Crab. Oh, Blue Caboose might be cut out here, Paranoia. but Zyleon Paranoia is in. I think they're going to get the Moomoo this time. Ooh, very good sign used by Blue Caboose. They got the Moomoo. 
They going after the suede. Line. He doesn't have ult right now, so this is the best time to take him down. Oh, Dude, no. Line two. Gragas. Ah. Oh. Rutledge is just so slippery. And they're immediately going on to, onto uh, Baron here. Rutledge, let's see if he can... I'm pretty sure he can 1v1 Samano. I feel like he should be worried, honestly. Ooh, Especially with the loot in his back pocket. Got of the oh, week. Rutledge. Very good flash. Solid flash. And they're still on, still on the Baron. Oh, oh Kaelin. What is Kaelin doing? Come on, Chocolaco, come over here. <laughs> I think this is a good call on... Oh, Samana, he's so low. Ace in the hole takes him down. Mm -hmm. I think Chocolaco was trying to get the mid wave if, and thought they would get off the Baron. But then he's like, oh, they're not getting off the Baron unless I come over. So like, I guess I, I, got, I guess I got dead. They had the front line, Gragas, uh, maybe, but... Uh... They were very low to be able to start that Baron, and the Baron, um, man, used to be that Baron bursting early in the season was a thing, but when they buffed the big objectives like Baron, like the Elder, uh, it just takes so much longer, no matter how fed or ahead your team is, it just takes so much longer to take that objective. Yeah. You can't just kill three or four members and just run down to the Baron and rush it in like, 10 seconds it takes yeah. at least 20 even 30 full minutes sometimes <laughs> but i respect sophie's fan club they're down 5k gold right now they need to to do something to get back in this game and if they if that baron was not contested they would have right so they're definitely trying to do they have to take some risks to be able to get back in this game and try and pull a win here try and keep that first place seating that they have tied with raw xd right now yeah uh, definitely an important match for them would be nice to get a win uh but have you seen the Dusk Blade is going to help out? Of course, really poor item, but still. It really only has that and a Kittle Gem. <laughs> he needs more items. He just needs. He's probably going for that Black Cleaver, realizing he's not going to be able to burst down the back line. Uh, and he's going to need to team fight, kite in and out. Uh, or at, le at the very mu least, have more health. So he can't even like get in. Uh, yeah. In the bot lane here, uh, with only two kills, gold, and uh, yeah, a lot, lot very, very uh, tough situation here. They're gonna have to play very defensive and buying control words. They are warding their side of the map quite well, and uh, yeah, but, uh, with the Zonyas is gonna be a good, in good way to counter engages from the pike. Uh, from the Amumu, like we just saw when they turned around that team fight, instantly the Zonya came out of Luka boost, uh, and allowing that time for uh, the team to follow up and to turn that team fight around. The lawn team fights is what I guess they'll be going for here. Yeah, and they have so much, like, I gotta give props to Luka boost. He has so much good vision around the Baron pit here. Uh, they just now cleared it out, of course, Dirty Diapers, but like, they're very adamant that they want vision on this Baron. They do not want to let it go. That's probably the game if that happens, honestly. Because if you allow this team to that siege that long. Huge. I mean, they without the Baron, they were able to do so much. But Black Shield, oh, definitely. Rutledge. Very low. Ooh. Vantage hitting the Gragas. Oh, the ulti, Curse of the Sad Moo. Oh, my God. Oh, Zaleon went in. I don't know if he should have. Yeah, he's gonna die for that. Definitely, Jackaloco. He's being hit by Samana, but oh, he just gets oh, collapsed. Samana. He gets collapsed on and just smashed. Incinerated instantly. No jungler, no ADC. Go do Baron, right? <laughs> this should be the easiest Baron. Baron secured. We'll have to see. They have a big minion wave in top for the side of yeah. Dirty Diapers that they could try and shuttle in. But then, if you look on bot lane for Sophie's fan club, there is decent sized minion wave over there. There, like, there's a possibility that that turret could go down. It has a cannon and like so many caster or melee, yeah, caster minions. That's the correct turret. Uh, yep. it, it'll, it'll yeah, it will at least be half health before uh, was, like, anyone goes a over there. play for them to do this team fight here. Uh, just uh, the um, yeah, uh, salmon was trying to get some damage in, but uh, getting caught there is. You, Probably better position would be nice to have stood in the brush uh, yeah. to the right, not going up to that red buff uh, right. cornering right. himself away from his teammates. And so Sophie's fan club, they're missing an opportunity right now. Like Rutledge is by himself in top lane. He has Baron buff. You can get a Baron buff off the field. And look, they're going in. 
Three people are coming here. They're finally doing this play after a while. Uh, he's trying to do some jukes. Oh, but he's found out. Good try on the ults. Oh, we got novelty. Half health, though. That was... That, yeah. that's, that's closer that than it really should be. <laughs> Sheen Croc, he already now has the uh, Ravenous Hydra, also really high, one of the best value or stat items on Pike as well. Another uh, really good stat item on Pike is Edge of Night. It is the best lethality item because it gives you 250 health. Yeah, but this is a potential 4v5 right here. Jackalaco does secure it. Oni does get scattered the weak and get stunned there. Oh, and he just E forward! His net is down. Sileon's going in. Oh, but the stopwatch. Stopwatch coming out of the Jackalaco is like untouched now. Yes. <laughs> Lulu's frontlining. That's you that's when you know the team fight's probably lost. <laughs> yeah, team fighting going exactly how they Fred's want being to, used. To Very go. solid play there. Uh, yeah. Gimpy going in. Doesn't didn't even need to find any members. Yeah, you just need to be a frontline distract. Do his job. Just absorb all that damage, all that harass that their comp provides, and then and that's it. I, I think everything's very cool diver, they could end the game right now if they just stayed there, I believe. Going to reset. Yeah, they're going to reset. They're just playing it safe. You know, don't want to take any unnecessary risks. Don't want to throw the game. They have a 10k gold lead. It's it's going to be hard to lose this game if you're Dirty Diapers. As long as they stay grouped as 5 and don't get picked off by this like, super pick, pump, pick comp, mm -hmm. I think they got the, the win. <laughs> yeah, it's looking very, very grim for our team here on the right side. Oh, he got caught up by Miji, but he... Miji and... Rutledge, this is a weird 1v1. Oh my god, that burst. Those crits. <laughs> We're gone as god. Goodbye, Blue Caboose. Yeah, and I don't think there's any real way uh, that they'll be able to come back because there's already a GA on the Caitlyn. So even, even if, if you do somehow pick her up. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> She's the still coming back. Still, Pike is just huge right now. Uh... Another item that he could pick up, Frozen Mallet, is also really, really powerful on Pike. Yeah. It allows that slow, and he is melee, so he'll gain the uh, the higher slow on every auto attack, and 700 HP will convert to almost 80 AD. Yeah, he has Call Fields and Pickaxe, so I think yeah. he's going something like Essence Edge Reaver Knight? or Edge or Essence Knight. Reaver? Yeah. Storm Razors could be an option as well to kite around, but right at this point. Really, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter that much. <laughs> I mean, the Frozen Heart on Miji might be able to mitigate and extend the team fights a uh, little bit longer. I, I really wish Miji would have gone for the the flash body slam explosive cast on Kaylin there <laughs> when he was snared. He honestly should have. You just you, like you, they need to take a fight here mm -hmm. before. Landed on our, Caitlyn, all right, and they got it. Fighting it, her, Lulu. Diego's standing right next to Caitlyn. He really wants to take him down. <laughs> Phoenix going straight in. But the pike is and there. <laughs> Not like he does take down uh, Phoenix though. That is that could uh, be your little reprieve there. Because now it's four v four, but they're down Phoenix, so they only have one tanky guy, one gimpy. Uh, mm. Novelty does not have <laughs> ult though. He's oh, going so, so aggressive. <laughs> Uh, that's that's triple inhibs down. I I think there's dirty diapers. They got this one in the bag, especially if they take down Zyleon right here or Novelty. Oh. Sorry. The flash oh, port from the No, Gimpy. Oh, oh dang! <laughs> hey, wait, is it is this a throw? Oh my god! <laughs> what? Triple kill. Triple kill for Novelty. He's like, I don't want to lose this game, guys. Come on. <laughs> like I'm eight it's three and three. Fast. What's going on? Why is my jungler like eight deaths? <laughs> <laughs> Jester almost actually dying. Flash is late after uh, the Sedra gets the CC on her, but <laughs> could have probably followed up. But um, yeah. Uh, honestly, now that now, game's not over. Sophie's yet. fan yeah. club just can sit in base, kill some minions, get some extra gold. <laughs> Hopefully, not lose our nexus in that time. <laughs> but uh, yeah. people are uh, there's a Baron up in a minute thirty, I think. If I were Dirty Diapers, we'd get Vision on it. We already got four drags. So it's no big deal. 
Yeah, Baron will be coming back up in 80 seconds. Uh, they're having full control. They're just doing vision here, making sure I think they're getting both that the they blue can buffs. take anything they want whenever <laughs> they want at all times. Blue buff Lulu, man. Real scary stuff. Yeah, and it looks like... have an Infernal as well. Yeah. Kaylin's going to get a red buff. Uh, I think, yeah, I think they're just playing to group up and they're just playing to escort these minion gens in the game. Because on, honestly, with triple inhibs down, it's just like it's near impossible to do a team fight and defend your Nexus. Looks like he was building up to the death dance and he's uh, probably building a GA. It's now. the one we forgot. <laughs> the death dance. Honestly, that's probably really good though on Pike, right? Yeah, you, you delay any burst on really you good. really like long enough for you to heal up. Your Q probably does massive healing. Your ult does massive healing. Yeah, and they took down the in hit back down. Dirty Diapers going closing in on the Nexus. BG's gonna have to do some like god plays right here. All ultimates oh, Vanish toss pass. Oh and Swain gets a double snare. Pike immediately jumps in. Uh Zyleon on the back line, immediately murdered by Jack Chuckalaco because he's the only person pressuring him. Morgana, Blue Caboo's going down. I, I think this is game. This is, uh, this is a match right here. Just trying to pat their stats. Makes Facey a little angry. Are they going to give him a pentacle? <gasps> oh, dang. <laughs> You'd be almost falling to the fountain. Rollage like, no, 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 no. The game has to end right now. <laughs> <Don't>... <laughs> Can't have that happen. No. Wow, what a disappointing game for Sophie Fan Club, but quite a win. For, yeah. And honestly, for this... Diapers. This is an important win for Dirty Diapers because now they they are probably, you know, they're above 50% record. They're probably going to make playoffs, especially with the win over Sophie Fan Club. That, I mean, that's proven the caliber of this team is improving as the league goes on, right? These teams faced yeah, off week I mean, one. Not not good for Dirty Diapers week one. This week, hmm. this is their week. <laughs> Sounds good, yeah, and showing that they're a contender. Beating a, a team with such a record should be quite a morale boost for them for the future matches. Yeah, and those are always the matches that feel the best, right? Like, oh, we took down the number one team. Hell yeah, guys. It's <laughs> like, it's like, yeah, we got this. And, uh... If we took a look at the stats, I'm definitely expecting Pike to have a lot of damage, and of course, Caitlyn yeah. at number one. You got the Lulu in the back pocket. Craig is going tank doing more than the gen. Just shows how much of that bot lane uh, ended up being sided for the Caitlyn. Mm -hmm. And those team fights was really good positioning. Jock Kalako able to find a lot of time in team fights to deal the damage out because of the front line that they had. That Pike, yeah, very risky pick, but worked out really well for them. All right, well, I think we are done streaming for tonight. We will not be having the other match? No, this is... Just one this, match today? This is game two, remember? Oh, yeah, the other the, match was canceled. The other match was uh, <laughs> forfeited. Too. That's it. <laughs> yeah, unlucky, man. Uh, well, it was nice. Nice casting with you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Foxy. Thank you for everyone watching, and... Uh, We'll see you next week on Tuesday for Dragon League Week 5. Hey. See you there. Don't miss it. <laughs>